This is a requested bait. So the magical compound of super glue and baking soda does not float. It sinks hard. I think of blade baits and stuff like that. Put a lot of weight right there, so give it material. Line tie way the heck up here. Something like that. And looking at it from the top, it's gonna look something crazy like that. Crazy thin in the back. Crazy thin. Everything through wire. So wire, 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 wire. And then I'll be, since this is fat, I'll be able to just pinch a big split shot something on the wire. Now, since this is a one day, we need to perform our traditions. One day. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet. I had to pick up my truck from getting detailed this morning. Chelsea, for my birthday, got me a, got my truck detailed. It's an interesting birthday present, you know? Before we go fishing, I'll show you what it looks like. It's great, like the guy did a insane job. It's so clean. It looks like it's new. Everything. New everything. 10, 12, one day. Super glue and baking soda. One day. Super glue and baking soda. Super glue and baking soda. One day. It's a nice jointed, perfectly meeting up surface right there. We're gonna take the center line of this. That's gonna be the center line of these two blocks. I'm gonna cut out that shape on the bandsaw, and then like put some foil or something on the inside, you'll see. Totally fine with going past that line just a bit. That's just material I can sand off of the super glue and baking soda piece. So I have those three spots right here where the wire needs to be. Line tie and hook hangers. Just gonna be the bottom one. And this straight back for the tail. Everything just has to sit perfect to where when there's no forces being exerted on the wire, it's in the right spot. Last thing to do is just bend this. Whoa, I just did all that and cut the wrong wire. <laughs> wow. Wasting valuable one day fishing time. This one's gonna be way cleaner though. There, we cut the right wire this time, perfect. That's out of the way. So I just marked out the points of extrusion that the through wire is coming out of this bait at. There, there, and there. Now I'm gonna go halfway down, make a little slot where they belong. There, there, and there. So that wire is just gonna sit perfect in that mold. Are we gonna get it to fit first try? Impossible. We just got it to fit first try. All we gotta do is put a split shot. I'm thinking like as far down as I can get it on that belly. I think I have a half ounce even. I have aluminum foil that I'm gonna put all on the inside before the final time I put this in here and, it, and then I'm gonna kinda like poke it through the foil when I close it up and that should make a pretty good seal. Good enough for what I'm doing here. How slick is that fellas? That should be an easier thing to break away from once that super glue and baking soda is dry. Just sanded that aluminum away off the back so it sits flush. There. Oh, I gotta put the wire in. Yeah. We get this far and I fill that up with super glue and baking soda and just there's no wire in it. Okay. Spot on. That's what I want. The weight right there. Just trying to like shove it in all the corners first. All right, this might blow up. I don't see it leaking out of anywhere when I pour the super glue though. I've pretty much used half a bottle of super glue. I think this is the final one right here. Getting super glue everywhere. Oh yeah, this is real bait making right here. It might not be necessary, but I feel like giving this 10 minutes or so, or just some time. This is like a hot rock right now. 
Okay, let's see if this is even stuck together. Oh. Oh, we got some spots where it didn't hit. We got to refill. Let's expose all of them. See where it's white? That's kind of concerning. Under this paper in some spots, it's not cured. It's just baking soda. You know what? I'm going to hit this with the belt sander and then fill this in. Crazier than I ever could have imagined. Wow, that is so many voids. But at least I think I can fill all that up with super, er, excuse me, baking soda. Super glue baking soda. Back to work. I'm just gonna put like that much in at a time and fill her up. It has issues handling too much at a time. Okay, it's time to see what can be done about getting this out. It's uh, super glued together, if you couldn't tell. All right, I see a line tie. That looks nice. Wow, that stuff's really hard to get off. There's a little void I have to fill up. This is looking all right. I was really worried about all those voids initially. But I just took my time and filled them in slower and they filled in. Maybe I'll come up with the bandsaw and cut some scores into it so it breaks apart easier. And I can just squeeze it and it'll break apart. Wow. This thing's heavy. <laughs> oh, there's just baking soda pouring out of it. <laughs> it's okay, we can fill the voids. Look at all of the life just pour out of this bait. Eyeballed and free-handed. Just making it thin towards the back there. This is gonna open up a lot of baking soda cavity, be warned. That looks like garbage right now, but I'm pretty confident it'll clean up. So much sanding to do and patching as we go along. It's got like a nice shad, translucent, white glow to it too. Pretty sweet base to start painting on. That's the shape after sanding like that. I brought the top in a little bit and then towards the tail, it just narrows out a lot. Left the belly really fat. I'm gonna round that off. It was out of that little hole right there. <laughs> All of that baking soda. I had no idea I was gonna fill so many voids today in my life. This is like carving teeth. What a disgusting thought, I'm sorry. But that'll give you a glimpse into how I'm feeling about carving this. I'm gonna get the Dremel out, I don't like that. I can't even do that. No, thank you. <laughs> Giving it the last smooth off right now. I really should just put an eye on that and this is the solid super glue and baking soda bait. Maybe a dark top with a little bit of scalage coming down. I kind of feel like painting today. Such a difficult material to get perfect, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Everything's pretty smooth. I see a couple little divots and dents, but my hands are tired. First thing I'm gonna put on it is some bleed checker. This stuff does a good job of separating paint from other stuff. Which, you know, a big hunk of super glue. You might want to keep paint off of that. Might be fine, I don't know. Detail smoke black, just on the top, a little bit, and around the eye socket. A 
The plan is to shoot pearl white that way, and then silver that way, maybe even black too, so it's more contrasty. Scale reveal. They're subtle, they go all the way down, but they're just pearlized and subtle. It still mostly looks like a chunk of super glue and baking soda. That's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Put a black eye on. Solid black eyes. And then clear coat. Chinese hard UV resin. Just gonna brush it right on. That was a good brush. There's like no bristles that came off. Yeah, I found that you don't want to go slow and hold it in one spot at all. You want to move it fast. This is looking great though. It cured well. It gets already hard. It just needs to get not tacky. Oops. The solid super glue and baking soda lure. That's kind of funny it fits in there like that. That's gonna cure pretty fast. 102, that took almost three hours. The longest part was sanding. A lot of sanding. Surprisingly, I've ingested way more super glue fumes than that on other builds. I made a point of putting the fan and blowing fumes away and stuff this time. It's probably smart. Could have been like 10 IQ points less right now. So what we're gonna be seeing is if it has good action, fishable action. Are we actually even seeing that? We already know it's not going to be as good as like a balsa wood plastic injection with big air ca cavity pockets and ball bearings and rattles and it's not it's not going to be as good i guess we're just trying to catch a fish with super glue and baking soda okay lipless crankbait pretty much i was thinking i'd make it as thin as a blade bait and stuff but no all right let's go find out if fish like super glue baking soda you guys remember what this looked like before like an inch of gravel dust everywhere I didn't know a vehicle could be saved back to such cleansliness. TDM detailing. Chelsea had this dude, Tim Marsh, detail my truck. I thought I'd shout him out because he did like an impeccable job. Every tiny little nook and cranny had dust packed in it and it's gone. Especially this thing. This thing was like a parachute full of dust, but it's just... What's this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, go to this dude. He's good. I told him I'd shout him out, because I'm happy. We paid for his services and everything, but I just told him I'd shout him out, because I'm really happy with the truck. Okay. I'm still just baffled. It's like it's new. I'm kind of trying not to go on a gravel road, if possible. That's probably gonna last only a couple more hours, though. We're gonna give this pond a shot first because it has wiper in it and I would love to catch a wiper on this. It's that kind of bait, you know, something fast moving. They like to have fun hitting stuff, wiper do. Let's see if it works. It probably doesn't because it sinks like a rock. It does a little bit. Oh my goodness, it does a little bit. Look at. Oh, it's hard to show when it gets close in here. It has a very, very tight, fast shimmy. It shimmies well. Okay. Kinda confident. We got tangled. Confidence lowered. Yeah, this thing is difficult to control. It wants to veer off to the sides just because really even weight distribution instead of weight on the bottom and flotation stuff on the top. It's just really even mass distribution. Challenge accepted though. We're still gonna try to catch one, of course. Well, I know of another pond that I should go to since this thing sinks so hard. I need to find some depth.
It is such a bad bait. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. It's just such a bad bait. It's so heavy. All confidence is lost. What have I made? Wait, maybe I made it wrong. Wrong style of bait. I should have made an offset spinner. That would have been much better. I could put an offset spinner rig on it tomorrow if I don't catch a fish today. Hey, hey, hey. This should be decent. It's deep over here. I can be high up. Probably won't snag. There's wiper in here. Lots of things going for this spot. Okay. I did not even get it on film. My GoPro battery just beeped at me. And then I cast it like it died. So it beeped. And I reeled up and cast it again. I don't know why out of spite, I guess, for it beeping at me. And it just popped off. Tiny little hiccup in the spool and it popped off. It wasn't even a bird's nest, just a tiny little boop. My 20 pound leader, fluorocarbon leader broke at the end. We'll revisit this, I promise. We'll make it a more appropriate, appropriate bait. I was like getting frustrated and casting harder even. And I'm gonna fish with some other stuff for a bit here and then I'm gonna go home, contemplate life. Let's give the pud some love. fish on on the pud nice this feels like a better fish really loading up this rod is this a wiper big bass very good bass probably the biggest one of the year so far Get out of there. So, I lost the super glue and baking soda bait, threw a putt on and really quick. Got a three pounder. That's awesome. 3.06. Be free. That's pretty awesome. Sadly, that probably is the biggest bass I've caught so far this year. I do have some fancy aggros. That Nick from the bait cave poured me. Look at that thing. It's got ribs. Go check out Nick's channel if you haven't. The Bait Cave. A big old aggro, 5.1. Wow, that fish jumped out of the water. What is this one? I think it's a bass. This is on the aggro. It's probably bigger. Wow. It was way out there. Dude, I think I just caught a five pounder. Whoa. Time to get the scale out again. I really hope this is five pounds. That's pretty good. Nick's going to be pretty happy. Dang it. I was a pound off. 4.05, four pounder. It's official. Four pounders like the epic aggro. So lovely, be free. That fish jumped all the way out of the water with this bait in its mouth. Super gloom baking soda bait. Main takeaway, thank you epic bait molds. Second most substantial takeaway, I should make a spinner, offset spinner, as the next super glue and baking soda bait for sure, which will not be the next video. There's something gnarly in the works for the next video. I guess we did establish that even for a lipless crankbait, super glue and baking soda is garbage. That means it's garbage for a lot. But a summertime, top water, epic bait mold, soft plastic, and aggro, five inch, 5.1 inch. That made it all worth it, even though it has nothing to do with what we were doing. On to the next bait. <laughs> that looks like garbage right now. Super Bowl Bakes up. Wow. Impossible. Eyeballed and free handed. Okay. No. Okay. A hot rock. Like it died. Whoa.